Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Fred and Maggie and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Maggie's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the correction and the motivations that we give her when we're working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred's using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction and the correction that we give is a little tug and let go on her training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. She will come home with her very own training equipment and you'll be taught how to use that during your lesson. Now she is lying down very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Maggie heal and at this point her job is to match pace with her trainer not forging ahead or lagging behind and each time that Fred stops his feet Maggie has been taught to sit automatically to wait for her next command. And this makes walking your dog a pleasure. She's not dragging you down the street. She's not jumping all over people that you meet on the street. And each time that you stop, she sits automatically very nicely to wait for her next command. And she did a perfect job of that. Now the next command that Fred's going to demonstrate for us is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. Now she dropped into a down, so he told her no. He put her back into a sit and told her to stay. What happens with these guys, because they're worked so much in obedience, is they start anticipating their commands. And she has to complete the command as it was taught. So she's in a sit-stay. When you're practicing at home, you can practice indoors and outdoors. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her, returning all the way back around to heel position back where her shoulders are even with his left leg and at that point she expects to get another command and they take off healing again. And these are the exercises that you're going to be practicing at home with Maggie. This helps her feel secure and confident that you're in charge. And this time, instead of returning back to her, Fred will call her. The command is Maggie, come. He praises her on the way in. She sits nicely in front of his knees and she gets a little pat for praise. And then she returns all the way back around to heel position and back sitting. And he leaves her in another stay. And he'll demonstrate that recall exercise. Lighten your tone of voice. Use a happy voice. Call her in. And then she should sit right in front of you. If she doesn't, he gives her a little tug on her collar. And then she returns all the way back around to heel position and back sitting. She's come such a long way with this obedience training and with all of her behaviors. Her anxiety, everything has gotten so, so much better. She just thought she was a princess before. <laughs> Now the next exercises that we're going to set up for are the down commands, which is what she's been trying to show us all day. This is down from heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and then he leaves her in a stay. The long down stay when you're practicing at home is for three to five minutes and practice this right in your living room. She has to learn that you're in charge, not she, that way. You're not getting the growling and her little temper tantrums and the little snits that she used to get herself into. When Fred returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her just as he did on the sit stay, returning all the way back around to heel position. He praises her and they're going to show us that down from a heel one more time. She's done a really great job because she's not a young dog. And she had some behaviors that were very ingrained. Fred puts her into a down, leaves her in a stay. And it's important that you practice these commands indoors as well as outdoors. And I really can't stress that enough because wherever you practice with her is where she thinks she has to behave. And this time, instead of returning to her, Fred will call her out of it. Very nicely done. That was perfect. And then she goes back to heel position. 
and back sitting. And now they're going to set up for their down from a distance. This is a little bit harder command. You're going to leave her in a sit-stay. Fred's going to walk out to the end of his training leash. She's going to use the right hand to give the command and drop her into a down from six feet away. Perfect. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Maggie's formal obedience commands, her healing, her automatic sits, her stays, her down, her down from a distance, and her come. These are the exercises that you're going to practice with her at home. We'll answer any other questions that you have during your one-on-one -on -one training session. We've enjoyed her. She's been a challenge, but she's trying really hard to be a good girl, and we will see you soon.